Right, ladies and gentlemen, we move on with the third bout of this evening. So would you welcome into the cage, Danny Anderson. Welterweights and two of the most intense walkouts I have seen in a long time. MMA action here at LFC 10. Danny Anderson from New Wave Academy out of the red corner takes on Dovidas Kizavikius from Revolution Martial Arts. In the blue, Dovidas comes out with a one-two combination. Anderson spins and Anderson all the way down to the floor. Dovidas on top, Anderson back to his feet. Ho oh, ho ho, it's going down tonight in Rochester, Dean. Anderson frantically working to switch the position, quite rightly walked up the cage, now finds himself on top in the half guard of Kizavikius. And Kizavikius struggling here to prevent the pass, the shoulder pressure from Anderson to try and slide out of half guard, being a key feature here of this exchange. See Anderson there with that head pressure, Chris, you can see he's forcing the weight down, forcing his opponent to be flat on the mat because what he wants to do is get his right leg out of that half guard position and perhaps go to side control or mount. And Dovidas Kizavikius is struggling here, Dean, not only with the weight but the pressure, but a full guard recovery. Excellent work here. Kizavikius working very hard, excellent hip movement, now on the bottom, full guard position. Let's see if he starts to try and work for an arm bar. He's known for that on the MMA circuit, Chris. And he's looking at an underhook and use that 
for additional leverage to spin for the attack. Look at the way he kind of TPs his legs up, Dean, to try and hike up to a higher guard position here. You gotta let those legs work when you're dealing with a beast like that in full guard. Gotta control that posture, Chris. Not let the person rise up and rain down the punches. He's looking for the body triangle, but didn't get it. Working that overhook there, he sees overhook the right arm of Anderson looking for the triangle, Chris. Possible triangle set up here. Anderson in trouble. Got that diamond guard locked on. Anderson trying to posture up here. What he's got to do now is reach over and secure the triangle. He's got it, Chris. Now he's got to work the posture and it, obtain the pressure. He's got to switch his hips now. So he looked round, he looked over, underhook the leg and switch his hips round. It's possible to finish with the arm there, Chris. But if he could pass it across the face, it's more beneficial. You can't snooze on the ground game of a BJJ fighter like this. Danny Anderson doing everything he can to try and pry his way out. But Dovidos Kizovikias continues to be relentless here with this attack. He's got the figure four locked in, turning the corner, trying to exert additional pressure, but Anderson trying to pull his right arm out of the mix. Anderson trying to lever himself out there. He needs to think about putting pressure on the knee, the side of where the knee pops out there on the left side, I believe. It starts to pull down, but the whole time he's turning, he's making it tighter. He needs to think about putting both his arms on the knee, the right knee, I believe, of Kizavikius, and pull down and almost cat stretch out that position. He needs to stop putting some pressure on that, that joint. They see there, Kizavikius pulls his arm up, pulls his ankle to the crook of the back of his knee. Now, I know the kind of weight that Anderson cut for this matchup, so the guy, no doubt, is going to have a lot of mass in there to control with this figure four. I mean, when a guy's got, like, shoulders and the physique that you have, it makes it a little bit more difficult to get that lock on. I think that's what saved him there and what gave him breathing room, Dean. A grin from Danny Anderson, but he looks a little bit red there. That lock was on. So, enough action there in round one to fill a Hollywood top ten movie. And Anderson and Kizavikius square off for round two. Let's see if Kizavikius now can get this to the floor, but Anderson lands a big right hand. I think Anderson's gonna wanna strike here now, having tasted the venom on the mat from Dovidas. Big leg kick there from Anderson, boots. Twice in a row, Dovidas, but gotta avoid the clinch. Look at this, ho oh, ho ho ho. Dovidas Kizavikius pulls guard. That shows confidence in the ground skills, Dean. His legs are so long, he's able to get that body triangle round Anderson. What we'll try and work to do, Chris, is overhook one of those arms, isolate one, and start to try to walk up towards Anderson's head to secure a submission. Might even be looking for the triangle here. Now, it's a bit of a rarity that you see guys pull guard in MMA, but perhaps even more rare to see somebody lock up a body triangle off their back. I think that gives away the game plan if there ever was a hint. Anderson now working the body, working the head. He's got to do this. He's got to pull these strikes in to distract and keep Kizavikius busy. If he's not busy, Chris, he's going to be looking for that triangle. Look at this. Anderson trying to use the can opener there to force the legs open from Kizavikius. I would get out of here. I would stand up and try to pass. That's much better from Anderson. Anderson looking for the leg drag. Got to watch the uh, straight ankle lock attack here. Exactly what Hannison's got to do. He's got a leg fight. He's got to unravel those legs of Kizavikish and get that leg out of that position because he's not only in danger, Chris, from the leg lock, he could also get swept. One thing I can say is when you're attacking the leg with both arms, you're not protecting your face. And that is what Anderson is trying to capitalize on here. Anderson with the ground and pound. Piston-like left and right lands from Anderson. Dovidas covers up. He's a big now eating some punches from the top. Anderson has really found the rhythm, Chris. Those body shots are punishing. And Dovidas being overwhelmed here and snowed under by the knuckles of Dandy Anderson. What a turnaround this has been. Anderson fighting more smart now, Chris. He's aware of where his base is. He's keeping that pressure downwards, but he's really aware of where he is in space. Pulling that leg out beautifully. The see if he starts to try and pass now and secure a more dominant position. Could be looking for that arm, Chris. He's got a couple of uh, options here from this positional control, but maybe just a chance to catch his uh, breath and establish top control once again. Now, full mounted position. This is almost death with Anderson on top of you. He's punching away at Kizavikis. He's got to defend, Chris. The referee looking intently on. 
and the referee warns him to improve his position, but Anderson is too much. It's all over here tonight in Rochester. Danny Anderson sticks his tongue out and waves to the fans, perhaps avoiding a few scares there. Halloween was last month, but man, we had it all here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, as always tonight, please let's hear it for both your fighters in the cage. But we do have your winner in two minutes, 44 seconds of round two by ground and pound, the red corner, Danny, Mr. Gluten-Free Anderson.